I talked to you about how a song can get stuck in your head, right? And you had a hard time explaining to me what that meant, but I know what it means. It means that what? You hear it, and then you can't make it leave your head, right? It's just stuck there, right? So the same way that that happens with songs, it can also happen with ideas. Look at you. You don't have any opinions. You're just a brand new fresh baby. People that have a lot of money are probably pretty smart or probably pretty good because they somehow they got their money. You're an accident that happened in space. You need more, newer, better stuff all the time. People who aren't like you, that are different, probably aren't as good. You're not part of nature. You're something different than nature. We got everything figured out before you were born. You better listen to us or you're gonna regret it. You're gonna be punished for it later. You're not complete. You have to depend on some invisible thing in the sky to make life okay. You need miracles or magical things to happen. You come from a monkey. You're only gonna be able to live to 75 or 80. It's okay for you to eat whatever you want. Look at the commercials. They say it's okay for you to eat whatever you want as long as you're hungry for it, as long as it tastes good, you eat it. Doesn't matter what it does to your body. If you can't get something, you should take it. Lying is okay. It's a natural part of life. All we do in this world is fight. It's okay to constantly disrespect your body. If you get really big and fat or unhealthy, it's okay, as long as you're happy. We know something about what happens after you die, and if you, unless you agree with us, you're gonna be in trouble. Imagine going into life, it's like you walked into a movie theater and the movie had already been playing for a long time and you don't know what happened. What other people tell you isn't always the truth. They'll stick a pin in your head about what happened in history. One day the dead guy is gonna come back down from the sky. You can be a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter what you were born at. You can make your own choice. Pin. Spend your whole life looking into a screen. They'll have you looking at each other different. How do we get them out of our head? We try to pull the pin out, right? But the best way is like you, young lady, is to not let the pins get in there in the first place. Elegant. Elegant, right? So we talk about refinement. We already talk about re, like renew, review, that re means to do again, right? And we talk about that word fine. We used to see a beautiful girl, right? Or even like a girl would see a really handsome guy. She's beautiful, she's fine, right? When they talk about Eating somewhere fancy, they call it fine dining. Chop, 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 chop until it's fine. Until it's a fine grade, you know what I mean? Like making small changes, usually taken away. And when you take away something in mathematics, what do we call that? When you, when you use the process of taking something away in mathematics, what is that called? We've got 22 foods, and I'm telling you that we're gonna have to take away five for the rest of your life. Can we take away broccoli? Okay, can we take away bananas? No. Can we take away grapes? No. How about chips? No. You don't want to, but if we gotta take away five, we're gonna put a star next to that. Maybe we'll take it away, maybe we'll keep it. We don't know. All right, peanut butter. Can we take no. that away? No. Can we take away popcorn? No. Can we take away chocolate? No. Can we take away hard candy? Yeah. Yes, okay, so this one's gone. So now we only gotta take away four more. Can we take away coconuts? No. no. Can we take away smoothies? No. Okay, can we take away fruit snacks? Yes. Yes, why, what has it got in it? Um, what? pig. Pig, all right. Can we take away soda? Yes. Gone, all right, so we've only got two more we can take away, right? Fish, can we take away fish? No. Can we take away turkey? Yeah. Why, have you ever had turkey in your life? No. Okay. Have you ever had beef in your life? No. Have you ever had chicken in your life? No. Have you ever had pig in your life? No. All right, can we take away green beans? No. Can we take away melons? No. Can we take away Brussels sprouts? No. Can we take away pie? No. Can we take away Doritos? Yes. Have you ever had Doritos in your life? All right, have you ever had McDonald's in your life? No. All right, check it out. I'm gonna let you keep the chips, all right? <laughs>
some chips are better than others, right? Some are made with natural ingredients, some are loaded up with chemicals, and we're gonna find out which is which. But let's take a look at what your diet looks like, just based on what we got here. We've taken away how many? Not just five, but we've refined ourselves to the point we've taken away how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Seven, seven different items. Eight. We've taken away eight items. So how many do we have left? What's 22 minus eight? Yes, we just did the knowledge to our way of life and our culture, right? And that's, if, if we're doing this right, that's supposed to give us what? Power. <laughs> about I'm that. gonna close my ears. Yeah, you don't have to listen to other people tell you about this history, because they're gonna tell you one thing, somebody else is gonna say another thing, it's gonna get very confusing. That shorthand goes around, it goes from one to what? Count with me. Two. Two. Count with me. Three. Count with me. Four. Does it end? No. What happens? After your history lasts 24 hours, after you spend a whole day and a whole night, what happens? After those 24 hours are over, does time Another end forever? Day. Another day, right? So every time your history lasts 24 hours, you renew it. You renew it for another 24 hours. Let's just say your day wasn't so good. Right? And you, you maybe didn't do everything you wanted to that day, or maybe you didn't do the things you wanted to the way you wanted to. Every day you got another chance, right, to wake up and renew it, right? And that's how things move. Check out how the earth, I'm gonna show you how the earth moves. So you're telling me that knowledge plus understanding equals, which is? Culture. Who can you totally control? Link. Link, your <laughs> There's only one person in the world you can control. Who's that? I tried to help you, you're throwing things at me. And then you're talking about me to other people. Let's talk. Let's see what we can do to make this better, right? And what does she do? She's still throwing blocks at you, right? So what's your next step? What's the only thing you can do? You've already tried to reason with her. You've already tried to help. You've already tried to, to deal in equality with her, right? And you've already used your culture of kindness, right? So the only thing you can do is basically send her away. Get to stepping. And what's that coming out of her mouth? All she can do now is talk about you. That's all she's got left. The question is, how can we be kind? And the answer I gave you is by mastering ourselves. And we can be kind and teach others to be kind, not by telling them. Like, you don't know, say, hey, Link, be nice. You show him how to be kind by showing and doing. Hitting you on the head for no reason. Well, I've got a, I have a feeling that there's a little bit of an equal balance of you guys hitting each other. It's not all Link hitting you. There's been a little journey hitting Link, too. Am I right or am I right? Or am I right? Right? Right. Right. Okay. Wisdom. Okay. You know that's wisdom, wisdom. All being born to 2 plus 2 equals what? 4. And that's what? Culture. Culture. Yes. And that culture is what? How we live. How we live. Yes. And we talked about how two things, wisdom could mean what you say, could also mean what, what you do. do, okay. And is what we say and what we do always the same thing? Something with two different types of components, just like the difference between what you say and what you do, right? And how that adds up to what we live. how we live, yes. I'm a vegetarian, I'm anti-meat, but what are you doing? <laughs> While they're saying what sounds really good, they're anti-meat. You see them with a hamburger in their hand, they kind of look like half person and half... What was this that we talked about? The stubborn kind that won't move. Donkey. Donkey. And what do we say people call people like that or call animals like that that won't move? That's a jackass. Won't follow in the right direction. No, glug, 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 glug. We don't follow everything that's American just because we are in America. Tell me what you're doing. Um, you put your hand this way and you sit this crisscross applesauce and then you do this. And then you do this. And what's this practice called? Relitating. Who's that? You and I. Say. 
Okay, and in Mandarin, we've got... Leo. Leo, okay. And uh, in our supreme language, it's what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Here they are, they're throwing money around. That's powerful. They can speak and people hear, right? And what they say, people listen. So we dealt with how the earth moves and keeps balanced, which is equality. And that requires movement or inertia. You can't just sit still and expect your power to really, really extend to a point where you're gonna be your highest self. And like we said, some people with power, they never really, really get to be them good, their good selves, no matter how much power they have, because they don't deal in what? When you have an abundance of something, what, is it, what do you think that means? You have a lot. There's people that always have a lack, and then there's people that always have more than they need, right? Is that equal? Your knee gets hurt from experience, you know that what happens when something gets hurt, what happens to it afterwards? It heals, yeah, yeah, it heals, perfect, right? You know it heals. Your brother's too young to know that, so he's scared because he doesn't know it's gonna heal. So what are you doing? You tell your brother and you teach your brother about your experience and your knowledge, and now he feels a little bit better because he knows based on what his big sister said that his knee is gonna what? Heal. Yes, ma'am. What do we do? We make our what? Understanding, understood, and treat people with what? Yes, ma'am. Can I get a high five, please? top and then we dropped down until it emptied out from the top and went down to the bottom right and that's time that's time running out after you'd already had knowledge of like everything around you you have to eat you have to poop you have to pee you spent that second year kind of practicing everything practicing learning how to talk practicing learning how to walk practicing how to pick up objects right learning how to pick little things up right so by the time you were three, you started to really understand it. We just looked at the picture, and we saw by the time you were three, you understood how to relate to all of us, right? By the time you were four, you started to have your own preferences. Like, what's your favorite thing to eat? You already knew what you liked. You, want, you already knew a little bit about your culture, right? And by the time you're five, I'm finally starting to see some power. You're one, then you turn about five. And in about 10 years, you're gonna be a young lady. You're gonna be a young lady. Not an adult, but a young lady, right? And then by the time you're 20, in 15 years, you were going to be a grown-up, a full grown-up, but I didn't even dare draw a picture of you as a grown-up. Dare think what you're gonna be, because you know why? I don't control who this is. I don't control who this is. Who controls who that becomes? Yes, ma'am. You know, so we keep track of this with clocks, and with calendars, with pictures, with memories, right? We keep track of this time, but it keeps moving on. It's our most valuable commodity, and I hate to tell you something, kiddo, but you know what? Look at me. Look at all this gray on my face. It runs out someday. Peace. Journey. Link. Hello? And this picture was taken one month after Thank this you. little baby right here was born. And this is baby Journey. Wow. You were, these shirts that you two have on were sent to you from me. What are some of the differences that you see between us? Like um, me and Link, we're both boys, <laughs> right? Journey, you're a girl, right? That's a difference that we have. Um, another difference between us is um, the both of you have a lot of hair. When you look at me, I don't have any hair. <laughs> so I'm sure the two of you get your hair from mommy because Daddy doesn't have hair like that anymore, so <laughs> that must have come from mommy. But anyway, um, another big difference between us is um, I, I our skin, right? You look at us and you see a big difference. So you look at me and you can see that I'm original. And you can see that because my skin is darker. Um, throughout the course of history, original people who look like me have been treated badly. And a lot of those times when they were treated badly, people were being mean to them just because of the way their skin looks. I look how I look because of my family and my history. You look how you look because of your family and your history. Original people have been um, here from the beginning. Original people have invented or built a lot of things that you and me still used to this day. Now, just like original people get treated badly because of the way we look, 
Um, there could unfortunately be times where you get treated badly because of the way you look, that that's not your fault. Right now, your, your dad is teaching you these things. Sometimes people didn't have people who loved them teaching them the same things. A lot to learn, and so far you're doing a great job, so keep that up. And once again, I thank you for watching this. Peace. Peace. 12,000 years ago. And look, what's on, the, what's on this money? This is the Sphinx, right? What was the result of us doing the two, doing the wisdom before the knowledge? I'm doing it before the knowledge. You're doing it before you know, right? And that one plus, two plus one still equals three, but the result you get, there is a order one, to two, everything. Six. And we talked about the reason for these seasons, and we talked about the planetary reasons of why, why we have night and day. There's an order to everything in the sky and on the ground. Remember when the music came on and daddy's super old, so I'll say things like, that's cool, right? That's cool. But then also, if I put my hands in the refrigerator or if I go outside and I say, that's cool, what does that mean? Something different? It means it's kind of a bad thing because it could be a little too cold, right? Somebody's trying to calm down, you tell them to what? Cool off, right? So, so the whole thing is, is that a lot of us walk around using one word with multiple meanings, right? You've got five different ways to say one thing. The opposite of that is being in a situation where you've only got one thing to say and it's got to describe five different situations. What the hell is this music? This is crazy. No. I don't want to turn this off. Right. That music was terrible. Yeah, that music was terrible. Um, I do not like that music. How about it when you, when you, when you review something, what are you doing? Viewed it with your naked eyes. Now I want you to review it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. How many planes are in the air? One. One. Okay. How many people are on the beach? Seven. All right. Knowledge. Which was not mine. Born, right? It was born. Alright. When you just say straight out what you're seeing, you're telling the what? The truth. truth, right? The truth. What was your earliest memory before you were born? Um. Think about it. Was there anything there? Or was it just darkness? Did people get scared? And so they make up stories about what happens to us after we die. They come up with big, long stories. Show, Show it, it and, and prove it. it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How do you like that, bud? Mm. Ta-da! Yeah! <laughs>